we're here down at the Living Dock um, with our first field trip after the storm. And we are on a learning curve because the Living Dock is no longer living, so to speak. We've got severe storm damage and the normal day of a field trip down here is we'd walk them out on the dock, we'd show them our fouling communities. We'd show them the different animals that live there. We'd show them the pull the crab traps, get to see all the animals that come in there, like blue crabs and stone crabs and so on. But we're not out of the business. We're still very much going to be teaching field trips here. And we're having to change our tactics. So right now I'm trying to get them to do some population studies. They're getting to go take a transect and they're going to put a little meter down and then they count out all the animals that they find in that meter. The other big thing I've always wanted to implement here is chemistry. We do a lot of chemistry and making sure the seawater is right, it's got the right pH and salinity for the animals. So having these kids get out there and test it and really get to see it firsthand, these factors, and measure them for themselves is a huge learning curve. It's sad, we don't have the dock, but it's also a need to try some new things. But at the end of the day, nothing's gonna change them being out there getting to pull those crab traps, getting out there getting to see the fouling communities. And we have to have our dock back. It's part of our facility, it's how we keep our business going. And we need the community to help us on this. Donate, yeah, donate some money to help so your kids can see stuff like this. Because most kids don't have this opportunity. I want to thank everybody throughout the past that has helped Gulf Specimen. You believe in our mission and you believe on what we're doing and it means the world to me personally that you actually care enough to help us. We can't help Mother Nature and when a storm hits us like this, we're just not equipped to fix it. Um, we do need y'all, more now than ever. This is one of the hardest hits we've taken since I've been working here. I can't do it without your help. And at the end of the day, it's not about what I can do or you can do. It's about these kids getting out here and learning about this stuff. So your support makes that possible. Unfortunately, we need it again. So please help us. Please help save the living dog.